My hair's a bit wet. Oh yeah, my hair. Mm. So, we are doing a little intro. Can you see us? Yep. Because um, you may tell by the title of this video, we've got some big news. What's the title? Well, it's probably something like, we're moving. Oh. House viewing. Yeah. Because this video we filmed last week, the week before last. Week before last. Yeah, and we filmed it in Cornwall because we went down to Cornwall to look at some houses. And at the time we were filming, we were doing house viewings and we weren't sure when the video would go live. I wanted to film it, but I wasn't sure what the result would be, what the outcome would be. Yeah, we weren't sure what was going to happen, if we'd find anything we liked or what yeah. we'd do. So we just filmed it and we were going to like film a little intro to kind of give you some background. We're not going to tell you everything just yet because no. um, that's for another video, but why we're moving so yeah why we're moving well basically our we, lease we, is ending yeah we in drew up a flat. big pro and con spreadsheet well that's where we're moving yeah but why okay, we're moving why we, yeah we're moving because we would be moving anyway so we have our lease ends actually our year lease ends on the 4th of November, but we... Um, Three days from now. Yeah, but we didn't know what we were gonna do, so we decided to just keep a rolling contract whilst we ended up looking for something else, and then yeah. we would move when we looked for something else. So we decided that we wanted to buy a house because we were... There's been so many different decisions. Well, uh, we didn't decide that first of all, did we? No, we no. didn't actually. We Originally, we were like, let's just rent out somewhere different in Brighton that's a bit bigger. Yeah. Um, because this flat is a one bed with yeah. like an ensuite. Yeah, so, we want an extra room. Yeah. Um, for, I don't know, stuff, an office, place to work out maybe, I don't know, just an extra well, room. Also a place for people to stay. Oh the, yeah, a place with a bed. Yeah. Because right now people like sleep on this sofa yeah. when they come to visit us. <laughs> so first we thought Brighton. Yeah. And we were looking in Brighton for a while. Mm -hmm. Then you were kind of swayed by London. Yeah. For various reasons. We went up there once and you really liked uh, North London. Like Highgate and... Because yeah. my sister lives in West Hampstead in London and yeah. um, she really loves London and I was thinking maybe I should move there because I have some friends there and it could be a fun experiment. Yeah. Because when we first moved, the reason we chose Brighton was because I had family here and because I knew Brighton and I really liked it and it felt felt like it fit us because of the vegan scene, because of the, how friendly, friendly it is for cycling yep. and how much more, well, it's still an expensive place to live, but it's more affordable than London, but it's also yeah, it's kind of a good distance. Yeah, it takes the edge off with the price. Yes. Yeah. Easy, well, easy access. It's, you know, you can get to London fairly easily. Yeah. Um, so that was a good, it was yeah. a really good decision to pick Brighton. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, when we decided on London, we were thinking of renting somewhere in London. Yeah, when we were trying to justify the rent. Because it could, was a lot of money. If we could afford that and if it'd be worth it and stuff like that. Because we were looking to expand, like we said, get like a two bed and like a bigger space. Mm. And the reality of that would mean up it, like doubling our rent in London. If you so, wanted something good. Yeah, and we were thinking, well, yeah. if we go to London and we stick with our rent now, we will get something smaller, or mm -hmm. if we up our rent a little bit, we'll get the same sort of thing. So it was kind of like, mm, I don't know, we were kind of umming and ahhing going back and forth. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, maybe we should think about buying a house. Because this is my old, like, changed. Yeah. So we were thinking about buying a house, and then we were like, there's no way in hell we can buy a house in Brighton. Because, sorry, no. in London. Not in London, no. Sorry, no, no, no. because London is just insane. If you know yeah. anything about the UK, London prices are just crazy. They're through yeah. the roof. So we thought we, were, we couldn't afford anything in, in London. Yeah. So we started looking in Brighton, but then... Well, we were thinking like there wouldn't be much point really buying a place in Hove or like further away from Brighton. Mm. One of the most important things was an upgraded kitchen from this one, something bigger so we can we're always bumping into each other when we film and also <laughs> it's big people. difficult yeah when it's not like the height of summer the light is can be quite bad mm. and you know by three or four o'clock you can't really film anymore because it looks so dark yeah so we're looking for an upgrade on that and obviously another room like a two or three bed for an office with you know a bedroom something like that yeah um, and, and again, the, the budget was looking a little yeah. difficult. And also, we were, ideally, a bathroom that wasn't an ensuite, so guests wouldn't have mm. to walk through our bedroom at night to go to the toilet. So we were realising that the reality of what budget we had come up with, and we wanted to stick to it because we didn't want to end up like owing loads of money or like yep. 
doing anything, making any rash decisions. So we quickly realized that if we were to do that, we'd end up probably buying something that was not what we wanted. It would be probably smaller than what we have, yeah. or, yeah. or it would be a flat and we really wanted to get a house. We want to have Zeus yeah. in our life again, if you've been watching us for a long time. Yeah, oh, I forgot that, that was quite key. Yeah, yeah. Zeus, yeah. Um, my cat, my childhood cat, is living with my family, but he didn't get on with one of my dogs that my parents adopted recently. So he's been living, well, when we lived in Cornwall, uh, he lived with us in a, um, it was an old holiday let that we lived in that's attached to my parents' home. And right now that's being rented out to a friend who's looking after Zeus. So he's separate from the dogs. And it was really important for us that in our next place, when we moved, we could have Zeus and have him in our life again. And we wanted to be able to have a garden and have a big home. And yeah, it was just, all of the things were just looking a bit tricky to buy a house. yeah, And yes, we could rent, but just like one of our goals was to buy a house because it's just such a good investment and a, a decision we wanted to, we wanted to buy a house basically at this yep. stage in our life. Yep. So yeah, then came my sister deciding to move to Cornwall. She, we had a big chat with her and my mum and she decided that she wanted to leave her job and move to Cornwall with her boyfriend and he's from Cornwall too, and he was really excited about this idea. So they made that decision and it had a huge impact on our thought process as well. Yeah. So yeah. we then were like, hey, let's write a pros and cons list of Brighton versus Cornwall. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, we wrote that down and it was a long discussion and it was like, it actually happened really quickly, but also it was a lot of chatting and a lot for a lot of days. And that's why we haven't been vlogging as much. We've like hinted at why we've been away. Yeah. But it's because the last month have been a lot of changes in our life and a lot of decision making, a lot of like crunching numbers yeah, and looking so at money and like figuring our life out. So yeah, Brighton and Cornwall are very like both amazing places to live. Mm -hmm. Brighton is like amazing because it's close to your family. Yeah. It's by the sea. It's like amazing vegan food. It's close to London. It's easy to travel from here. Like everything about it is the best way of living. Mm. But then the downsides are it's expensive. It's not close to my family. It is, you know, we wouldn't be able to afford what we wanted. And all the- Less outdoor space. Less outdoor space. An animal. Yeah. That's where we are now. We can't have pets. And we, yeah. we weren't sure like if we rented, yeah. we wouldn't be able we to. We really want to adopt a dog. Oh, yeah. So all the fingers were kind of pointing to Cornwall. I did yeah. post about this on my Instagram story. I said, where should I live? And everyone was um, like, you should yeah, stay yeah. in Brighton. Well, some people said Cornwall. Yeah. I think it was like 60, 40. No, you were disappointed by the result. <laughs> yeah, because I started to think about Cornwall. I started yeah. to think about the fact that my family are there. And I, we made, one of the biggest decisions as well was actually because we've always wanted to settle in Cornwall. Yeah, it was kind of something you think, oh, well, I'll, I'll settle there at some point. Yeah. And I, I guess when you're young, you think, well, you go to London, yeah, live there for a year, you've got to do that, that's what everyone does. Yeah. Um, but because we're self-employed, it's not really such a big issue that I guess it would be for a lot no. of other people. Cause, we don't have to yeah. uproot our job. And also, a lot of the, most of the time when we go into London is to see your sister <clears throat> or your family yeah. and stay there. Yeah. Um, I feel like we're talking a lot, going into a lot of detail. Hope you don't mind, guys. Yeah, like, what, was we, what were we saying? What are we saying? We're just chatting and chatting and chatting. Yeah, so all the fingers are pointing in the direction of Cornwall and... Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. What? I don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were thinking, well, instead of just waiting, instead of saying, oh, we'll move there eventually, why, why does it have to be the thing that we do, you know, in five, ten years? Yeah, like, we, what? that was the main, I think, kicker, that we were like, why buy something here or live here for the next few years, wasting money on rent, um, maybe procrastinating on something we want to actually do and just do it now because we yeah. want to settle in Cornwall. We really want Zeus. We really want to adopt a dog. We really want to have our own home. And Alex is so passionate about property development. That's what he wants to do, mm. you know, in the future. So we would love to like, we, we wanted to have our own home that we can do up and have that as like an experiment yeah. to then do things like that in the future. Mm -hmm. And like, we were just like, why we thought, m in terms of like an investment, if we were to buy something in Brighton and sell it in two years, we probably wouldn't get our money back or our money's worth. Whereas um, in Cornwall, it's so affordable in Cornwall. Yeah. We, we, you know, you can get a proper house with a garden. Mm. It's so different. So 
There are some cons, it's, it's a, isolated, it's in the middle of nowhere, it's cut off from the rest of the world, it's not near Alex's family, but we've made ourselves a promise that when we move to Cornwall, we will come up to London, either to visit Alex's family, to visit friends, or come up and go away somewhere or travel once yeah. a month, because that's important to us. And by yeah. travel, it might be just somewhere in the UK. Um, and hopefully, owning a house will be more free, because yeah. there's been lots of times here when uh, we're thinking, you know, if you go on holiday for two weeks, you're thinking, well, I've just spent half a month's rent yeah. on a property that I've had no use from, yeah. in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd feel more free because because next year we want to you know, travel a bit further afield. Yes, for um, a bit longer, maybe. For example, to Japan, and if yeah. we wanted, we'd to love do, to go to Japan for like a month. To, yeah, because we couldn't really. I was tempted to do it this year, or maybe at the end of this year, weren't we? But mm. you can't really do that when you're spending so much money on rent mm. that you know you're, you're paying lots of money on a holiday and traveling and you're also paying for a flat where you're just you know storing yeah. your stuff we're so lucky though to be yeah. able to do this at our age i know like loads of people yeah. all they want to do is buy a house and we're so so lucky so yes we're very 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 thankful yeah. that we have this opportunity but i feel like we've talked so much the long and short of it is that we're moving to cornwall the news is out we're moving back to cornwall yay i know lots of you will be sad because lots of you have only known us in brighton but cornwall is where we started everything it's where i started my youtube channel mm. it's where we started alex and maddie well actually we started alex and maddie when we went to thailand but oh, yeah it's where it all began and it's my home and alex grew up going on holiday there every year yeah we're um, trying to also hope that if we move to cornwall alex's family will end up moving there because alex's family loves cornwall too his mom especially that would be great yeah and so also we'll be, maybe reel them in um yeah because when we lived there we did we didn't well we didn't have any money we didn't have any money we didn't maybe make the most of seeing all of cornwall yeah we were a bit we were isolated, isolated in the north i didn't of drive i didn't have any money it, yeah. it was a struggle whereas now we have a secure job we can do what we want we'll have our own home it's so exciting and i cannot in wait a better location i am so excited to show you the house viewings because that's what this video is about or maybe this video will be an update video and tomorrow's video will be a house viewing because this video is long I don't know. Well, hmm. I guess we'll find out after this. Yeah, so either you'll see the house, I don't know. I think this should just be an update because it's just okay. been, All right. it's 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 a lot of information yeah. and I don't but wanna we'll, like. I'll upload, because I've already edited the other one, so yeah. I'll upload that right after. Straight after, after yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And um, it's a shorter one, but there's a few videos of house viewings. And I don't wanna tell you the outcome yet because that's like, I don't know. We wanna leave that until yeah. a bit later. But we are moving to Cornwall, we are looking at houses in the next few vlogs, and it's really exciting. <sighs> so exciting. Yeah, yeah. And, um, Got it all out. Yeah, we've been high, high, not, it's the sort of thing that when you're online and you share videos online, you can't yeah. necessarily tell these things as they happen because things yeah. can go wrong and you can change your mind and it's personal and all that type of stuff. So we wanted to wait until we knew what we were doing mm. till we talked about it and I'm so excited and yeah i'm i'm sad to be leaving brighton though because it's like been the most amazing year i was yeah. sad at first but i've come to terms with it and yeah. also we've got a month to yeah go we're, to so we're, our lease ends on the 4th of december yeah, go to the places we have kind of put off or is you know oh yeah we'll do that sometime yeah. but we never have um like swimming in the sea no <laughs> i'm not swimming in the sea yeah maybe just some restaurants that we haven't been to yeah uh yeah it's very exciting. So even if we don't have a house by the time my lease is up, it's fine because we have we have our parents. Yep. My parents, our parents. We're not brother and sister. Um, we even are though on some Facebook. some people think that we are because yeah. we look similar. We technically are on Facebook. Uh, so that's for another story, <laughs> <laughs> another video. Um, yeah, we have my parents to stay with. Uh, luckily, because they live in Cornwall, so we can stay with them temporarily mm -hmm. uh, until everything is sorted and. But I just, yeah. Yeah. It's so exciting. I can't wait. Also, I can't wait. I think for Christmas, I'm going to get some glasses that don't reflect the. Oh, glare yeah. Of the, yeah. Every, Let's every look video. Look at your eyes. Here we go. <laughs> it's like, I feel like my eyes are really small. Also, like that episode of The Simpsons, obscure reference, where Milhouse takes his glasses off. Oh, yeah. I and he has that. the tiniest little black yeah. eyes. Like, yeah. I do remember that Oop. episode. Also, it was our eight year anniversary yesterday. Yeah. Halloween was our, is our anniversary. And loads of lovely yeah. comments on Instagram, so thank you if you commented saying happy anniversary. We watched a spooky TV show. 
and I fell asleep. You fell asleep. You're on your phone for most of it, and you fell asleep. I wasn't on my phone for most of it. I there fell you are. Asleep. You're like you turned to me. You're like, have you been watching this? No, that I've was been on my phone. I was on my phone for about five minutes because I was doing something, and then I realised that I was really tired. Yeah. Um, anyway, what was it, the haunting of Hill House. Hill House. Yeah. I thought I thought it was good. I was enjoying it. It was good. Yeah. We also went to Moshimo. Oh, Moshimo. For Vegan Wednesdays, yeah. they have a night called Vegan Wednesdays, and we also went to Purezza. Yeah, if anyone Tuesday. lives in Brighton, get the Mashima membership because you get like 50% 50 50 off, off on Wednesdays. Yeah, we well, yeah, Monday, Tuesday so as well. We spent, so how many dishes did we get? 14, 14 I dishes. Think we calculated, yeah. Our bill would have been £88. We would have spent nearly <laughs> 90 pounds well, for um, two people on sushi, but because it was 50% off, that, it was only 40 Some pounds. of that was drinks, but still. Some of that was drinks, it was, we had a drink like, each. Yeah, it was like 70, 80 pounds on sushi and food for two people. But nine, like that's a, <laughs> we don't spend that much money on, I mean, some people maybe yeah. they spend well over that yeah. on a night out for a meal. I, we never yeah. do. I think because we had the membership card, we, we felt yeah. a bit oh, yeah. freer. Of so course, that's why we spent so much money. There, you we like, stuffed our faces, it was it great. It was like a tasting menu, but it wasn't tasting portions, it was just oh. giant, oh, it was so it was good, good though. It was good. And now I really want that again tonight. <laughs> Anyway, stay tuned for the next yep. few vlogs yep. because, yep. well, the next few months is actually going to be really exciting. The yep. next few vlogs are going to be moving vlogs and us talking yep. about houses and all that type of thing. And then we'll be moving out of this flat and then we'll be going back to Cornwall. And then hopefully we'll be showing you around a new house at some point. And then in the future, we'll be doing it up and all of yep. that. And it's going to be very, very exciting. And Zeus will be back in our vlogs. I can't wait for Zeus. It's actually really good timing because my parents um, are selling their house and moving and they were really unsure of what mm -hmm. to do about Zeus because, like I said, Zeus is now separate in another home that's attached mm. to their home, being looked after by a friend, so it's separate from the dogs. And they're worried because they're downsizing because they have a big house and they're moving to a smaller house because there's only two of them now, me and my sister have moved out. Um, mm. They were worried what they're going to do with, the, with Zeus when they move into a smaller house and the animals will all be around one another. Yeah. So it's really perfect timing because, and also it's not going to be too scary for Zeus. Like we were worried about moving him to Brighton and yeah, no, no, no. yeah, it's, it's, it's better because if wherever we move in Cornwall, Zeus will be, it'll be easier to get in there. Mm. Anyway, we talked loads. It's like a 20 minute update video. Oh wow. Okay. This was going to be a little <laughs> intro to the Yeah, it's going to be like viewings. a five minute intro to no, the video. No, it's too much to catch up on. Okay. I like giving these yeah. details. So I, sometimes I wonder, is it too personal to share this type of thing? But then I think, no, it's nice. I don't know. Because this channel's for us as well, for memories. Yeah. Um, and I like keeping you guys updated on things, it's fun. I'd probably find this interesting if I... I love it. You, you watch these kind of videos. I do. Yeah. And also, like, I was watching, I don't know if any of you guys watch Sarah's Day, because she's got pregnant recently, and I've been just finding her videos so interesting. Because I wouldn't really watch her videos that much before, just very occasionally. I don't think I was subscribed. I don't think I was subscribed to her, but I follow her on Instagram and occasionally I'd watch her videos. But like now she's pregnant, I'm watching all the videos, and they did one recently which you actually found kind of funny because I was watching it. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is like the old wives' tales um, where they try out old wives' tales to find out what gender the baby is. Yeah. And I was saying to Alex, when we get pregnant, I'm definitely doing that video. When we get pregnant. Yeah. Well, when I get pregnant with your baby. What? That's for next time. No, I'm not pregnant, guys. Don't worry. Okay. Bye. <laughs>